Hello guys, it's Sayonara, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download BD Armory for the recent patch KSP 1.8.1 as of January 27th, 2020. So what you're going to need to do is, I'm going to have this website above that I'm on in the link in the description. All you need to do is open that up. Alright, so once you're on there, you need to scroll down to where it says Assets. Just left click BD Armory 1.3.2.0. It should start the download. Just give it a second to download. Once it's done downloading, you're going to need to open up File Explorer, go to Downloads, and once it's completely downloaded, you just need to right click the zipped folder, Extract All. If you don't extract it, you're not going to be able to use the mod properly, so you're going to have to give it a second to extract because it's what it's doing is it's taking everything out of the files, right? So I'm, I already have it downloaded, and it's asking me that question, but it's not going to ask you. So once it's there, it's going to be here. So once it's done extracting, you just need to double click, double click again on game data. You see this where it says BD Armory? Make sure it just says BD Armory. You just want to right click it, go over to copy, and then after that, all you have to do is go into your game files on Kerbal Space Program and copy and paste it there. Now the easiest way for me to access Kerbal Space Program's game data files is go over here and open Steam. Go ahead and go to library. I already have it open, but should be pretty simple to open just need to go to library find Kerbal Space Program right click it go to properties local files browse local files scroll down to where it says game data double click that and I already have all my mods here but all I have to do is right click here and paste it once you've pasted that you have to give it a second since I already have it I'm not gonna put it again I don't want to corrupt my files but it should load for you as BD Armory right here once you have that in all you have to do is download module manager here this will manage all your mods and make sure it all runs smoothly i'll have that in the link in the description below as well once you open up kerbal space program you all you have to do now is i mean if you already have a game open if you already have a saved file that you want to add this to no worries it's already there so just for the sake of the video i made a new one called bd armory just load that one up okay now that we're in the loads the load file for kerbal space program you can either go to Vehicle assembly building or space plane hangar. I'm just going to go ahead and go to a space plane hangar because that's probably a lot easier. So once you have it down here, as you can see, it's going to say BD Armory. All you do is left click that and there you have it. You have all of the weapons and stuff. You can go ahead and mess with that. But you're probably wondering how do you even use them? I mean, it's not as straightforward as you think actually because you can't just slap something on and start shooting away. So. I'm going to go ahead and go to my open so I don't waste time. Go ahead and lower, load the Ares 4A. You don't have to load this. I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. Go to BD Armory. Go over here to the bottom. Find the weapons manager. You can put this. It doesn't matter exactly where you put it. On the, the plane or uh, whatever you're using like a tank etc. Just place it on there. What this does is it allows you to manage your weapons. And cycle through them and actually fire them. If you don't have it you won't be able to fire them. So then I'm going to... Go ahead and add a Vulcan turret. It doesn't matter what you add. Just make sure whenever you add something, as you can see here, you have ammo boxes. Make sure you add the right ones. Go ahead and just add 20 millimeter. That was my mistake. It was not 30 millimeter that it uses. Okay, so just go ahead and save that and let's launch. Okay, now that we've loaded in our plane, all you have to do is go to the right right here on this sidebar. Click on BD Armory, right? Click on Weapons. Click on Vulcan turret, and as you can see now, my mouse is controlling the Vulcan turret. And if you left click, you can shoot your Vulcan turret, which is really nice. So now that we can do that, now we just go ahead and fly around, you know, and have some fun, shoot at the buildings, you know, just destroy everything. Although there is an overheat on the Vulcan turret, which I I don't know why it's there. But I guess just add more realism, so if you hold it down for too long, it overheats and you can't shoot anymore until the overheat is gone. Just like the actual mechanic in stock Kerbal Space Program. So, this is BD Armory. Thank you for watching my guide. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. And make sure you comment down below if you want to see any more guides. And I'll see you guys in another video.